Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here. Today we are back at Universal Orlando Resort. We are going to be doing the Universal Holiday Tour tonight and we're going to be taking you guys along with us because there is a lot to do in this tour. It is a several hour long tour so be sure to stay tuned and if you'd like to join us, let's go. Universal's Holiday Tour is a VIP experience that allows patrons to experience all of the must-do events during the holidays at Universal. During this tour, you will see Grinchmas, partake in the exclusive Santa meet and greet, ride on a Universal attraction, experience holiday secrets and fun facts, visit the Tribute Store, meet the Grinch and Max, try free food, and have a private showing of the nighttime Christmas at Hogwarts show. All right, so here we are at the gate. We're going to get in line here where some of those other people are and head towards the blue building back there. That is, or was formerly the Blue Man Group, but that is where they do the Grinchman Spectacular. So I think that's where we're gonna be going and doing first as a part of our holiday tour. So it is currently 626. Our tour is supposed to start at 630. Seth and I are just a little bit confused. I know when we did the rib tour for Halloween Horror Nights, there were only about 15 of us in a group, but here's a quick look at what our line looks like all the way back there. So we're just curious about how they're gonna split us up. We'll see once we get inside. So it is 6.31 and we are headed back to, not really sure what, I'm thinking it's the Grinchmas show. So we'll see you guys at our next stop. So we are gonna be checking in right over there at the box office. Again, still looks like quite a bit of people, but I guess as soon as we get checked in, we'll move on to the actual uh, part of the tour. This is still part of the check-in process, it looks like. So we are checking in. Looks like we're gonna be getting some wrist bracelets. Hope we get to head in soon. It uh, looks like it's about 6.39 right now. All right, we've been assigned and we have got our tour guide. Looks like his name is Michael. All right, so we were just told that the show we are seeing does not start until 7.30. It is about 6.41. I can kind of understand now just by the size of the crowd while they want people to check in so early, but they do have a little snack booth back here. This is not included in the tour, but if you do want any snacks or drinks for purchase, you know, while you're waiting for the show, that is there for you as well. But we will see you guys once we head into the theater. All right, we are headed inside. I think he said they won't be loading us into the room until around 7.15, but here's a little holding area. So now we are about to head into the auditorium. All right, so we are waiting on the Grinchmas show to start. It is currently 7.19. It starts at 7.30. And we are super excited. We do have the reserved seats here right in the very front. So we will see you guys after the show. Of the chimney with glee. 
have now. Hooray to the great. I will stuff up the tree. So the grapes grabbed the tree, and he started to shout when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dog. <sighs> he turned around fast, and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou Who. Santa Claus! <laughs> Why, my sweet little dog! The fake Santa Claus lied! Shh! You're not helping! <laughs> poo poo canoes! He was screechishly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. <laughs> They're just waking up, and I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two, and then all the who's down in Whoville will all cry. Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he hear a sound rising over the snow. It started getting low. Then it started to grow. Oh, but this sound wasn't sad. Why? This sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. It was merry. Very. <coughs> Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, were singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped. Christmas from coming, it came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Ow. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought. Doesn't come from a storm. Maybe Christmas, perhaps. It's a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Uh, uh, ah. With a smile in his soul, he descended on from it, cheerfully going. got done with the Grinchmas show. Our next stop is going to be to Santa, which he is in the New York section of studio, so that's where we are headed now. So, as we are on our way to see Santa, we can see that the Macy's Parade is happening. So, uh, as we're still waiting, we're at the top of the balcony where Jimmy Fallon is at. We've actually been up here once before, and that was when we were here for HHN, a RIP tour a couple years ago, but there's some really cool views up here. I wish I could come up here more often, actually. Wouldn't be a bad place to actually just see the whole parade and maybe even the Mardi Gras parade. 
So now we are to the Santa meet and greet portion of the tour. You do get a free digital download, a professional picture with this part of the tour. So we'll insert that here in a moment and hopefully get some more shots of Santa for you guys and see you at the next stop. All right, so we have headed out from our meet and greet with Santa. We are headed to New York for a private photo in front of the Christmas tree. Our tour guide's gonna help us with that. And then we have a couple more stops, including we get to ride the race through New York starring Jimmy Fallon as part of our tour. And eventually we're gonna head over back to Seuss Landing to get some food and meet the Grinch and Max. But I also love our Christmas tree right here. Um, and inside of it, there's actually a very special person inside. Uh, has anyone heard of Earl the Squirrel? Yeah. Yes. No. Excellent. All right. So um, Earl is actually a very famous person here at Universal. Let me hype him up to you. First off, Earl um, has his very own room inside the Tribute Store. Earl has his own line of snacks. Earl has his own plushie. Earl um, has a meet and greet inside the park here during the day. Earl has a meet and greet at City Walk at night. Um, Earl is the person who took over uh, the tree hunt here at the parks. He is so big and so important that you can't meet Santa in our parks anywhere, but you can meet Earl the Squirrel. And um, well, one year many nights ago, he went to light the tree and uh, it did not light. So um, Santa continued to roll. At the end of the night, uh, some techs went inside to evaluate what had happened and what they found was that a squirrel had bitten up a bunch of the wires inside. So when the switch was flipped, nothing happened. So every year since then, we've hit our very own Earl the Squirrel inside the tree. So someone has already so, found Earl the Squirrel. Oh, there the he investigators is. Investigators over here, you guys found him really quick. Now, one thing to note, he does have his little plaid cap there. And if you look very carefully, he's got a string of lights in his mouth because while Earl is sweet, he is a bit mischievous as well. So the holiday tour does have light flexibility. For example, Seth and I have already been in the Tribute store. We have until nine o'clock. It is currently 8.56. So we decided to come into Finnegan's for a quick drink. Hi! <laughs> so there is a little bit of flexibility, a couple of minutes to go use the restroom and, and do what you need to do. So as I said, the rest of our tour group is in the Tribute store, so we're not going to go in since we've already been in there. So we're going to just wait out here with our tour guide until we are ready to go to the next spot. So now we get to ride the race through New York starring Jimmy Fallon as part of our tour. So that's where we are headed. We'll show you guys a little bit of the queue. I know you've seen it before in our Express Pass Challenge video, but we will see you inside. All right, so we should get to just go on the ride, I would assume. So we'll see you guys upstairs. We're about to head in. Tonight show, you're here, you made it. This is the place to be. I am your host, Jimmy Fallon, and this is the race through New York. So we just got done with the Jimmy Fallon ride, and now we're heading over to Islands to Circus McGurkis, and we're also going to meet the Grinch. All right, guys, so we are headed into the Grinch and Max meet and greet. We have about 45 minutes for this. This is also where our food is. So he said we can prioritize that however we want. So that's where we're headed in now. We'll show you guys around once we get inside. So Courtney is going to go get in line to meet the Grinch. And I'm going to go ahead and try to snag some of this delicious food. I think most of these food options are like a snack size, so like I do see pizza tots and who hash, so they're not quite as large as what you would purchase, but it's going to be great <laughs> nevertheless. So we've got the chicken and waffles, pizza tots, and the who hash. And next coming up is going to be some Christmas tree and snowman cookies. And we also have the Max meet and greet here. I'll try to put in some of the pictures I took with Max. So this is in addition to the Grinch meet and greet, which is right over there. 
All right, guys, our last stop of the night is back into Hogsmeade. The park has now been closed for 45 minutes, as you can see. People are still exiting, but we get our private showing of the castle show. So that will be our last stop tonight. We'll check back in here in a couple minutes. As you can see, Hogsmeade goes above and beyond its usual snowy displays with added Christmas lights and decor. For a full tour of Hogsmeade, check out our video here. All right, so we are over here on the bridge for the castle show. It starts at 11.20. There is hardly anybody over here. We'll try to insert some shots of just how empty it is, especially with all these tours. Um, but it starts, like I said, at 11.20, so we have about 10 minutes left. We'll go ahead and insert some shots from the show for you guys, and we'll see you after. That is the end of our holiday tour. The castle show was the last part. So we will see you guys in just a couple minutes to wrap up our final thoughts. All right guys, so we just wanted to wrap up our thoughts on the holiday tour. So I thought it was pretty good. This one wasn't as much as the regular daytime VIP tours mm -hmm. are. So it's gonna be a little bit more scaled back Personally, I think they could have condensed it a little bit more. Yeah. Like, um, it, we started at 6.30 or a little bit after, um, and it is now 11.57. It's going on midnight. Yeah. And I feel like we could have done all that a little bit quicker, but I understand, I guess, their predicament where they have to space everybody out a little mm -hmm. bit. But I really enjoyed meeting the Grinch and Max. I know people have been not complaining, but maybe just saying that it's a little bit on the difficult side to get that virtual line or to, to mm -hmm. spot either one of them. So that was fun. We got the, um, I guess technically it was private for everybody for the um, Grinchmas show as well yeah. as the castle show. So I thought it was good for the price. Um, honestly, I'd probably do it again just so we mm -hmm. wouldn't have to go yeah. through all the I, motions I would of, too. of trying to meet the Grinch and trying to get a spot for all those other shows. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that, that was worth it for me. Um, but what was your favorite part? Probably meeting the Grinch. Yeah. Since that was the first time we'd ever. Yeah, that we've done that. Met him. Yeah. And like got to take pictures. That was pretty fun. Yeah. The food was okay. Uh, I wish yeah. we would have had a little bit more and maybe some drink stops. Um, not even necessarily alcoholic beverages, but maybe like op opportunities for you to fill up water yep. or sodas yeah. or something like that. Really, the only place that had that was um, where we stopped at the Grinch at the circus. Smuggler, yeah. Smuggler, um, and we had a refill cup with us, luckily. Yeah, there was only like a couple times where you might have had a minute or two, but yeah. most of the time when we were somewhere waiting for like an extended period of time, you could go there. Yeah, or there, you might not even could uh, have anywhere to yeah, go. Yeah, there was yeah. nowhere to go. Like when we ran in Finnegan's, it was because we didn't want to go to the tribute store because we've yeah. already been in there. That's where we got these shirts. Um, but we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video, comment, let us know if you've ever done this holiday tour, variation of it, met the Grinch, etc. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more universal content coming soon. So until next time, we, we hope, hope to see you on, on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.